Okay guys, this is Maro's Customs, and I'm coming back at you with another video. I know it's been a long time, guys. It has. I'm sorry I haven't been posting videos, and I have no excuses. I've just been slacking off, and I actually have a lot of stuff to show you guys. And it's December 29th or December 30th, I think. I don't know. And um, I'm on Christmas break right now. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas. And you guys tell me your plans for New Year's in the comment section. Tell me what you got for Christmas. But this is just going to be like a I'm back and like an updated sneaker collection. Because my channel is about sneakers. But if you listen to the I'm back part, um, you will get some good news. But anyway, I'm going to jump right into it with the sneakers. Um, first, we'll do like kind of player shoes, not really retros. But I've done a lot of trades, and since you guys have last seen my videos, I've done a lot of trades, and we got a lot of stuff. We got different stuff. Nothing from the same collection, except one pair of shoes, I think. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So to start off the collection, I have a Kobe 11 Nike ID in the Northern Lights colorway. Um... These are pretty close to dead stock. I did wear these to play basketball in one time, indoor, but that's it. Um, I don't know. They're just a nice shoe, and just to let you guys know, anything that's in this video is possibly for sale. Everything's for sale for the right price. So if you want anything, just um, I'll leave my Instagram, my Twitter in the description, and you can hit me up there, and uh, we can negotiate prices if you want. The next is a Vans box. This is nothing crazy. I got these in Tennessee uh, at the outlet. And I got them for really cheap, like 50 bucks. Vans are pretty cheap, but these are just some maroon uh, suede Vans. I don't wear these as much as I want to because the one thing that I hate about Vans, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but the suede dyes the laces um, like a different color, like the black ones. We'll dye the laces blue, and these maroon ones dyed my laces pink, and I didn't like that. So, sorry for the lighting; it keeps messing up. It's keep bending down, and the lighting's not working. But the next shoe is another player shoe. This is the shoe that I uh, play basketball in when I play basketball with my friends, and this is the what the KD7. Um, this is my favorite basketball shoe at the moment, but. It's kind of because I got rid of all my LeBron 12s and my Kobe 10s. Kobe 10s, they're a great basketball shoe. If anybody's looking to get a good basketball shoe for cheap, I'm sure you can find a basic colorway for cheap. Kobe 10 was my favorite basketball shoe. Um, that's about it for the player shoes. But we'll jump in a, a little bit more heat. Not really a retro, but it's a little bit more heat. It is a Nike Sportswear box. Uh, Air, Fos Air Foam Posit 1 PRM, size 12, and these are the Fighter Jet Foams. Um, these are actually in really good condition. I'm not sure what year they released. Hold on, let me check. They released in 2012. So this is the 2012 uh, Fighter Jet Foam 1, and I really like this shoe. Um, hold on, let me see if it has the, has the thing in the box. Yeah, see these came with the uh, the little penny tag, which I think is kind of pretty cool. But I don't wear these very often; they're too bulky for me. Um, they're pretty in pretty good condition, besides the yellowing and the soles. But what can you ask for? I mean, it's a four-year-old shoe. You can't really ask for much else. There's no heel drag or no toe drag. Obviously, there's no creasing. I don't think foam posits crease, but that's I've never had any other foam posits. Um, yeah, just a pretty clean shoe. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. Um, next we're going to start into the retros. And I have these in, like, numerical order from 3 to 13. And first we'll start out with some 3s. And this 3 is a sport blue 3. These released in 2014, and I really like this shoe. I think it's kind of slept on because the resale is going down right now. These are actually pretty dirty. I should clean them. 
but resale's going down right now, and I think they're pretty slept on. I like them. It's a basic, it's a clean colorway, and you can rock them with kind of anything. I mean, you can rock them with jeans, you can rock them with joggers, you can rock them with khakis, whatever you want, and it doesn't really clash. Look at that. That's disgusting on the bottom. But this is the Sport Blue 3. All right, what do you guys think about the True Blue 3 that just released? I'm not a big fan, but I don't know. That's just me. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. We got another three box, size 12. Most of this stuff is size 12. If you guys want size information, like I said, just hit me up. Instagram, Twitter will be in the description. Um, this is the Infrared 3. This still has the heel tag, or the, not the heel tag, the uh, Jordan hang tag on it. Actually, when I bought these, they had one black lace and one white lace. They're, the other laces are in the box right here. There's another black lace and another white lace. But to tell you the truth, since I got these, I haven't worn them. And they're pretty good condition. Almost dead stock, I would say. Maybe B and DS if you cleaned them up a little bit. But I don't know. Infrared 3s, haven't really got to wear them yet. Just a clean shoe. Hit me up if you want them size 12. Those out of the way, and we have a Jordan 4. Jordan 4, size 12. This is actually from Soul Supremacy. Um, I want to buy a beater box here in the future. I just really don't have the minimum of 600 bucks just sitting around. But who knows, maybe one day during the summer. I work a lot, so we'll probably get one during the summer. Actually, I'm, that's gonna be my goal. All right, anyway, next shoe. Jordan 4 Oreo. I'm pretty sure this shoe came out in 2014. Um, yeah, 2014. But I really like this shoe. Um, I like it, but I don't get to wear it as much as I want to. Fours are kind of hard to wear. You have to wear the right thing, and with an all-black shoe, it's kind of difficult because you can't really wear dark colors. So, I don't wear them as much as I like, although I really do like the shoe. It's a great quality shoe. It's a clean silhouette. Um, I love the Jordan 4. And overall, it's just it's just nice. They make a baseball cleat of this shoe, and if I played baseball, that's what I would rock. You know it. All right, next shoe, we have a Jordan 6 Retro. You guys know what this is. This is an old shoe of mine. Um, Jordan 6 Maroon. I've had these forever bottoms are ugly i don't clean these anymore these are my basically my beaters um not much more i can say about those that was my first retro so i'll probably never get rid of them um it's just a sentimental thing to me we have another jordan 6 size 12 that was loud but anyway 2014 infrared sixes I really like this shoe. Um, pretty near dead stock. I'd say worn once, worn twice. I've personally worn them once, but buying them, I'd say VNDS um, worn once. But this is a very clean shoe. I really like black and red. I mean, obviously, who doesn't like a good black and red shoe? This is honestly showing up on the camera a lot darker red than it is in person. If you guys are watching this video, you probably know what 2014 infrared looks like, and it's not red. Although I do like it, but it's it's just not red. It's like a light crimson color, but I don't really, the camera isn't really giving it that color way. I don't know if you can tell right there, that kind of looks lighter, but I don't know. Hopefully, I don't really like the dark red varsities either. I don't know. I'm just like an in-between guy. I'm not, I don't like the darks, but I'd, I'd rather it be darker than the 2014, but I don't want it as dark as the Varsity Reds, if you know what I mean. All right, next shoe, we have a Jordan 11 box. Um, I thought about getting the Space Jams. Who knows? I might still get them. I just, I don't know. I figured they were going to be just like the 72 and 10s. And they were going to, I guess I can't get this out of the box. I figured they were going to be just like the 72 and 10s and they were going to sit. Well, not, I guess the 72 and 10s didn't really sit. I got them, but they didn't sit. They just made so many pairs and they kept restocking them that it was so easy for anybody to get their hands on a pair. Although, I, 
I'm saying this, but I'm the one that paid restock 300 for uh, 72 tons like a week after they came out and didn't wait for them to restock. So, I mean, don't listen to me. But anyway, I'm sure you can now understand what these are by the color of the box. We have some Legend Blue 11s. If you call them Columbia 11s, you're wrong. I mean, that might be the technical name from Jordan Brand. So, um, they're yellowing a little bit, but they're pretty clean. Um, here's the other shoe. There's slight creasing on the toe box right here. That's actually the only negative thing about this shoe. Other than that, they're pretty clean. I'd say, I'd say they're probably 8 out of 10 condition. 8 out of 10, 8 and a half. Um, just a really clean shoe. I like to wear that a lot, actually. But... Um, what was I saying? I was saying about the Space Jams, and the 72 and 10s. I forget where my thought process went. I'm just going to leave that thought off. Um, this video is going to be one cut, I think, unless I decide to make it again, which I probably won't. So this is probably the video that you'll see. But I'm just kind of throwing this together. Um, hopefully in the future I can get better at like cutting my films and editing and my speech because I know my speech I say um a lot and I say and and I say like but hopefully that will all get better in the future so next Jordan Jordan 12 size 12 these are the playoff 12s pretty clean um, I'd say worn four times um, there I go saying um again there's the other bottom. Just a clean colorway. Um, you can wear it with any... I gotta stop saying um. Jesus Christ. It's just a clean colorway. Jordan 12 playoff. That's it. I'm not gonna say any more because I'm gonna say um again and I'm gonna make myself mad. Alright, I'm running out of room here. One more shoe, I think. This is another old one. This is in my last video. It was my new pickup, but it's not new anymore. I don't wear this shoe. I don't. I just don't wear it. The Grato Jordan 13. It's a nice shoe. It's great quality. The suede on the tongue is so nice. Like, this puffy tongue is just great. Like, there's no other word to describe it. It's just a great feeling when... You get a shoe from Jordan Brand, and the quality is actually good instead of getting crappy quality like normal and them upping the price so you make you pay 220 although that shoe is only 185 retail. But anyway, this is going to wrap up the video. Um, like I said on the I'm back section of this, I'm going to start, try to start pumping out videos regularly, and me and my friends have really been talking about this. Uh, we want to do something how... Uh, Trey Good, he does stuff with his friends, like Trey and Trey and Jay and Kick Genius and Trey Good. He does music reviews. He does like squad casts, which are really dope. He does. I just watched a video that he did with his cousin, which was a try not to laugh challenge. It was the funniest thing. If I would have been in the challenge, I'd have lost in the first thirty seconds. It was honestly so funny. And me and my friend Tommy, we were just thinking that is so us. If you've watched that video. That is the definition of me and my friend Tommy. So we'll do something like that. We'll get that out there to you. And um, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a Happy New Year, a safe New Year. Everyone be safe. I know there's probably be some crazy stuff going down, but make sure you're safe. Thanks for watching. This is Morrow's Customs, and we're out.